from WFSB. This is an Eyewitness News update. Hi, everyone. I'm Kara Sundlin. Here are the top stories we are following for you right now. More than a dozen people in the capital city of Hartford are without a home after fire tore through an apartment building on Grand Street. It happened early this morning. No one is seriously hurt, though six children and 15 adults were forced from their homes. Right now, the fire marshal is investigating what started this fire. Let's go UConn. Right now, the UConn men's basketball team is finally on the ground in Arizona after some flight problems last night. It was certainly a rough journey to get the team to Arizona, but there is, uh, we got a look here at their bus. It did pick them up shortly after their plane landed, which was 3 a.m. local time, just after 6 a.m. our time. And Mike Slifer here with a quick check of your first floor seven-day forecast. We're expecting isolated showers and breezy conditions both today and tomorrow. Temperatures tomorrow back up into the upper 40s, still below average for this time of year. And on Saturday, while we're going optimistically dry, we do expect quite a bit of cloud cover. Temperatures right around 50 degrees statewide. And it's not until Sunday where we start to see brighter skies and increasing sunshine with temperatures back into the mid and upper 50s. And then our focus shifts uh, shifts to Monday. The Great American Eclipse we're calling 64 inland, 59 at the shoreline, mostly sunny skies, great viewing conditions across the state. On Tuesday, we're still in the 60s, inland 50s at the shoreline with increasing clouds by the middle of next week. Temperatures still running near, if not slightly above average.